I got these headphones sent to me by this company called Jiku. They sent me these headphones to review uh, so that people can get some eyes on their products. They have a whole bunch of different kinds of headphones. This one is called the G80. This headset comes in at around 60 or $70 on Amazon. When they sent it to me, I was impressed by the box. It's a nice looking box. So these headphones are marketed as gaming headphones that you can use on your PC or your console. So you get this little USB stick. I'll just make sure it's in focus. You get this little USB stick and you just stick it into your computer or into your console and it pairs directly to the headset. And there's a couple of buttons on here. Um, you can see here there's power, volume up, mute mic, volume down. When you press the power button and hold it, it does this little RGB rotating lights effect, which is pretty cool. It's, um, it's not like over the top, it's just like a nice effect. Before making this video, I wanted to give these a pretty rough testing. So I did use them for about two weeks. I've been watching movies and videos. I've been playing games using these headphones. Right from the beginning, there was one thing that kind of bothered me a bit was the earmuffs on here. They felt a little bit stiff, but after using them for just a day, they softened up and kind of like took the shape to my ears. So um, that wasn't really an issue. What I'm comparing the earmuffs to is from my old headphones. These are Corsair headphones. These, these have like a pretty squishy earmuff. And when you compare it to these, it just doesn't, it doesn't have that same kind of like sponginess to it. Um, after using it for just a couple of hours, it does start to soften up, so that's okay. The audio quality on these is really good. Um, it says 7.1 surround sound on the box. To test it, I did play some games that have like spatial awareness in like the headset and it was really good. It, it worked really fine with that. It comes with this detachable mic that just goes in right here. And just like that, you've got a wireless gaming headset. The one I've been using before, this Corsair one, also has the removable. This one is wired, so I was going from using a wired gaming headset to this wireless gaming headset, and I've never owned a wireless headset before, so it took some getting used to, and by that I mean the change going from wired to wireless was incredible. Like. I would be wearing the headset and if I had to go to the bathroom, I'd be like getting ready to take it off, but realizing I didn't have to, I can keep it on when I go to the bathroom. Um, which probably, you know, if you're talking to friends online, maybe mute your mic. <laughs> um, when it comes to the microphone, there were no issues. I didn't have to do any kind of calibration or changing levels of the mic. It just worked well out of the box. It was just fine. In terms of quality, I can just show you, like this is the headband. So you can see the stitching here. You can make out the quality for yourself just by looking at it. So this is what the earmuffs look like. This is what the inside of them looks like. Here's what the buttons look like. The USB-C charging port. They do include the USB-C cable for charging. And there's an aux input here in case you do want to use the wired mode. That's the input for the detachable mic. There's one thing I noticed with the stitching here on this earmuff. It does kind of stick out a bit. It's not ripped or broken or anything. It's just kind of sticking out. But if you do take a really close look at the headphones, you know, it's uniform all around. And then you've got that one part sticking out. So just one little blemish, I would say. It does have this slider, so you can make it wider. But yeah, the slider, the slider looks good, feels good. They also include an aux cord that has this little push button. I haven't been able to 
figure out exactly how this works, but I'm pretty sure it's the push to talk setting for the microphone. One more thing to mention about these is that they advertise that they have 10 hours of runtime. And I put this to the test a couple of times and I can say it does hold up. These things, they last forever. And if you're just gonna be gaming a couple hours a day, this will last the whole week without you having to charge it.